Hello everybody, how is everyone doing today? Today uh, we're going to try to improve our understanding of matter. Um, up to this point, um, you've learned how to maybe possibly explain some of the first 14 experiences, but uh, and you have um, tried to develop your own explanation for some of those observations. I think there's something missing in your model. So I'm hoping that I share that with you today is that missing piece. We're going to really try to focus in on um, the space between the particles. So when you look at a, a liquid, a lot of you, and when you look at a liquid, if you put your magic glasses on, what you see is that light passes through a liquid. Also, it takes the shape of it, and it's easy to pass through a liquid. One of the reasons for that would be that maybe the uh, particles within a liquid are spaced out. So the question is, is what's between those particles? And what about the space in the solid and gas? Is, is the spacing the same? Is it different? What's occupying that space? Is it the same, same thing? So the question is, what's between the particles of matter? I know that answer because I can see through my magic glasses what's happening here. You are not able to do that, and I can't let you have my magic glasses. I'll send them to you. I just don't trust the, uh, the Postal Service. So we're going to actually, we're, let's, let's see if we can figure this out here. Okay, so what we have um, here to start with is 50 milliliters of alcohol. This is actually alcohol that I'm using in this particular lab is uh, laboratory grade, which is 100, about 100%, 99% or 100% alcohol, pure alcohol. Uh, if you were to do this experiment at home, you could try 91%. Uh, you could buy that at the, uh, at the grocery store. Uh, CVS or anything like that, or 70% alcohol. You probably go right to your, um, right to your bathroom. Uh, you find that in, in your bathroom. Okay. So what you notice in here is that in this one we have uh, uh, 50. Okay. The bottom of the meniscus is right at 50. I colored it so you can see the difference between alcohol and water. So alcohol really is a clear liquid as you can tell from the container. Okay. So then um, I have water. Water I kept it as. Um, um, as a clear, okay, and if you notice, it is right at um, right at 50, okay. Um, let me turn this around so you can see it there, okay. So the bottom of the meniscus is right at 50. So when I add these together, a liquid, a liquid. Now, when you look at a liquid with your naked eye, again, it looks like one substance, right? Um, but what happens when you mix two different liquids together? So hopefully, again, when you look at through your magic glasses through alcohol and water. Are you seeing the exact same particle? Probably not. Alcohol is different than water, right? Um, so, but what's between the particles? What we're looking for that. Now, I can. I'm going to add the alcohol to uh, the water um, here. So, 50 plus 50. And when I do that, you notice something. all that's in there. Okay, that's empty. And what, what you'll notice is that it appears to not be at 100. It's around 90, 99, maybe 98. But if I take this and I stir it up really well, because right now what you're noticing is that the water is at the bottom, the alcohol is on the top. It mix a little bit there, but if I really mix it really well, I get this thing to mix really, really well. So get the alcohol down in the water, the water into the alcohol. So take this and mix it really well. What you'll notice is We have less. Okay, there's nothing on the stirring rad. Um, so when you take a look at this and the coloring, there's a lot of bubbles. Um, about 98, maybe 97. So it actually goes down even even more uh, afterwards. Now it may be easier to see things if I was to show you this. And then we'll just round and look at that. Okay. So it's around 97 and a half, maybe 98, you can go 98. So definitely two milliliters of space is not accounted for. Now, the first thing you want to probably say is, hey, alcohol evaporated. But this alcohol has been sitting over here uh, for about an hour, okay? This was 50 to begin with. 
this is for a 9x class. If you look at this, is uh, how much is it now? According to the theory, if it evaporated, it would be a lot less than 50. But what you're noticing here in a second, it's still right at 50. So alcohol doesn't evaporate that fast. It will evaporate, uh, as we saw in the lab that I still have to finish giving you the results for. Um, it will evaporate, but not that quickly. Not within three, four minutes will you lose two milliliters of volume. So 50 plus 50 gave you here 97, 98. Two milliliters are missing. What's between the particles of matter? Only the magic glasses will give you that answer.